What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out a brand new release from yesterday, guys. 2223 Upper Deck SB Authentic Hockey. This is a 16 box case break, two random teams each, number one. And again, guys, everybody gets two random teams in the NHL. All cards ship. Every box contains one future watch autograph, one additional autograph, and a couple pa red parallels, numbered rare inserts, Spectrum FX bounty card, etc. So. Here we go, guys. So, here's the dice roller, here's the customer day. So, we're going to double them up, guys, since you guys get two random teams each. Damn, damn, this TV is super loud. Amazon Prime Stick is super loud. Um, so, there you go. Double them up. There's all the teams there. Roll it. Six and a six, 12 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 12 times, 12 times, James, down to David B. And let's go 12 times here, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve times. Wild down to the Islanders. All right, so James, you have the wild, Steve. Uh, Steven, sorry, with the car, uh, Capitals. David B with the Oilers. Steven Kendrick with the Ducks. David B with the Devils. Steve Lockett with the Hurricanes. Steven Kendrick with the Leafs. David with the Nucks. James with the Avalanche. David B with the Kraken. Uh, which should have Matty Berniers, which I believe is probably the top rookie in this one. Wade with the Yotes. Steven Kendrick with the Panthers. Chris with the Blue Jackets. Craig with the Hawks. Chris Parrott with the Senators. Steve Lockett, you have the uh, Lightning. Wade with the Penguins, Will with my Kings and the Bruins, David with the Predators, Chris with the Sabres, David with the Knights, Steven with the uh, Red Wings, Chris Montalvo with the Stars, Will with the Flyers and Rangers, David with the Canadians Blues, Craig with the Sharks, Steven Kendrick with the Flames, David with the Winnipeg Jets and the Islanders. So if you guys want to make any trades, I'll give you guys a quick minute. I think Matt Boldy is also in this too for the Wild. Steve saying he'll trade both of his teams, Tampa and Carolina, for the Wild. I don't know if James is watching, but if you're listening, James. Thank you. 
Alright, well, I gave it some time, Steve. Try to trade country and Belgium. Matt Arnold gets a spot in that filler for the hit parade. So again, let's sell out that first filler, guys, and then we just gotta post the second one, and then we just gotta sell the straight up spots plus the second filler. Remember, all those remaining promo breaks are gonna be five times the promo spots now. And before I forget, while you guys are watching this video, you guys are also part of the promo, and that's just a one-time promo spot, but you guys are also part of it, though. So there you go. So again, for the promo purposes, guys, all we're gonna have to sell left, uh, sell left is going to be Hip Parade uh, football with the fillers, Immaculate with the fillers, and then Bowman. Then we can give away $2,000, guys. Last three breaks are right there. 10 left plus nine left and a second filler. Seven left just straight up, so which we could probably do that tonight. And then obviously Bowman. If we don't sell it out tonight, we can sell it out tomorrow. All right, let's do the break now, guys. Here we go. All right, so again, they, they changed SPA all, all around. I mean, maybe they did it last year. I don't remember last year, but usually they would look all different. Kind of look normal like a Series 1, Series 2 box, but... Now it just feels like they're, they're kind of just saving money and just making every product with the similar same size box as like SPX Hockey. Everything has been this little similar size box now. As long as they can release products on time, I don't care if they're making them all the same size, but I do kind of miss the other versions of other boxes. Alright, I'll rip four boxes at a time to start. And then we'll go with the next one. Yeah, that's true. It's just like, I used to love Premiere being in a 10. They used to like, you know, have a player's like molding of a face on the on the 10 with the, with you know, and their full kind of half body like a portrait. And now it's just in one of these boxes, which kind of sucks. It's like imagine taking away Flawless and like putting it in one of these boxes, you know? It's kind of be like a turnoff. But yes, I, I get you though. Maybe, maybe it is a waste, but... I mean, I don't know. I guess SPA is like only like under a $200 box now, so. I guess it's not that terrible. Though. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I feel you, Steve. I mean, you kind of eventually have to be like a pro at that, right? Because, yeah, then if people don't do it correctly. But, yeah, I mean, they pack it exactly the way Exquisite is packed, like, back in the day in the early 2000s. So that's why it's like that. As long as you're just, like, slow and careful, you shouldn't have to worry too much. <laughs> yeah, I mean at first it was really tough to do. I remember the first time I did it I remember the first time I did it. I didn't know how to really do it It wasn't until like I noticed other people doing it and then I caught my own like little way but, but It is a little nerve-wracking for sure What you could do now though, which I think is actually a little easier, is that if you can just rip off one of the the sides of the little box that it comes in, then you can pull out the foam in general, then push the carts inside or outside, and it comes out really, really smooth too. Basically just cut one of the flaps of the little box. Then you can easily take out the foam. And you push the cards down or through the foam, and then there you go. I'm just curious of what Cup Hockey is going to sell for, because if, like, Premier Hockey is, like, a $230, $240 box, I mean, I can't see Cup Hockey being more than $500 a box, then. You know? It's like... They could charge more than five hundred, but I feel like it might start off like at four or five hundred dollars at least. Would be pretty sweet though if they can sell cup hockey before the end the year's over. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else twenty one twenty two. Unless Ultimate Collection Hockey, maybe? Did that even come out already? Oh, uh, let's take a look. Hockey. But yeah, they're basically done with 21 22. There's nothing left. So, 22 23 Upper Deck Credentials Hockey comes out next week or in two weeks. They're already going to Opeachy Platinum on 22 23, so that's great. Uh, at some point, they're going to release Ice Hockey back again. Uh, in December, it says Stature. Oh, actually, you know what? They're catching up really big then, actually. They, we just released Premier Hockey, what, like two, three weeks ago, 21, 22? They're planning to release uh, Premier Hockey 22, 23, this class, by December. So they're, they're pretty much trying to catch up big time already. Yeah, for me, I, I can't wait for Cup Hockey 21-22 because Byfield's a rookie in there, so that's what I really want. All right, Declan Chisholm. All right, there's an autograph. Future Watch, Pavel, Regenda. to six ninety nine. dollars Are these how the Future Watches look now? I don't know if I like it. Ducks, Stephen Kendrick. Kenny Malkin. Owen Power. Pasternak. Owen Matthews. Let's leave that one up. And uh, there's Matt Boldy. To 999 Future Watch. Mitchell. Chafee. Tavares. Fagio. Spence. 
Patrick Waugh. Peralt. Anders Lee. Kira. Jack Hayes. Slayerman. And then we got a future watch, Kirill Marchenko for the Blue Jackets. It's a 699. Columbus Blue Jackets is going to Chris Montalvo. Yeah, page, uh, the pageant, pageantry, gentry, pageantry. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a sleeve on them. Same thing with the Reds. Probably won't top load them, but unless they're bigger future watch players. But I don't mind sleeving on up at least. Yeah, maybe if I get too many dupes, then maybe I'll stop, but for this box, I will. If I start seeing the same damn players, then maybe not. Yeah, it does seem very common, so. Some of you guys got lucky. Definitely do the top rookies, and I'll probably most likely do the FX Spectrums because they still have bounties for those. Okie dokie. Next one. Lucas Racho. And Pavel Regenda. Again? Another future watch to 399. Ducks. Steven Kendrick. Washington, Nils, Chuck, we got a green one out of uh, 800, Philip Roos, oh that's supposed to be the retro, I don't know if I really like the SP Authentic Future Watch this year. There's a red one. Ratty. Ha, <laughs> for real, right? I mean, unless you have the ducks, you're probably very happy, right? Like, keep it coming, baby. But when you don't have them, that's how you feel. Kent Johnson. Out of 999 Future Watch for the Blue Jackets. And again, that's another Blue Jacket. Imagine every single box is going to have a Blue Jacket or a duck. That'd be wild. That would be wild. I hope not. Yeah, see, you know what? I love the Oregon Ducks, and I kind of hate that they're Ducks because then, you know, I hear that, and I hate it because it, I know that you guys are talking about the Anaheim Ducks, but I have to be specific and say the Anaheim Ducks suck, you know? But don't get me wrong, I freaking love that movie when I was a kid. I so love that movie. I loved all of them, one, two, and three. I think number three was probably one of my favorites. Second one was cool too, Bob Miller was announcing them for, you know, when they were playing for Team USA against Iceland. <laughs> but. Tim Aaron, this Trevor Zegras. 
Pasternak. Jack Eichel. LeBron Clark. And whoa! What, are they trying to make some base-looking exquisite cards? UD Authentics, Brian Rust. I kind of think that's kind of cool, though, but it's kind of like a knockoff. Penguins. That's going to Wade. There's Matt Boldy. And Mads Sogard to 999. That's an inscription, too, as well. Nice, inscribed. Rookie, future watch. Ottawa Center is Chris Parent. Put it back to this Kings game. I'm really care for the football game right now. Uh, it is, Eric, yeah. Oh my god, the Auto Center scored again? Jesus. It's 3 2 now. Classic. What happened to him? Why is he why is he out? Philip Roos to ninety nine for the Hawks. I love how I love how hockey players can just hide their their injury upper body. Nathan Smith to three ninety nine. That's for the Yotes Wade. Matthew Gachuk to 99. I know, it's either upper body or lower body. But well, fuck, that can mean anything. <laughs> Jeff Mollat to 399. I mean, obviously, depending on the injury, if you see it like live and he's injured and he doesn't come back, then you could be like, alright, well, dude messed up his shoulder, obviously, but they're calling it upper body. I mean, I get it, right? They don't want players to kind of know where the injury's at, so that way they don't want to, like, target it. But I don't know, man. It's kind of stupid. There's Matt Boldy. There we go. That's a nice one right there. Sign of the Times to 90? Neil uh, for the Winnipeg Jets. Is that Plink? Inscribe the steel. Jets going to David B.
I guess, probably. Pretty sure it might be a nickname car. Six boxes at a time now. Kind of speed it up a little bit. They feel like it took a little too long in the first four. But it's kind of getting a feel for the SP Authentic this year. Now, I'm not sure if they still have case hits. I remember the case hits used to be like uh, in every inner would have like uh, a patch autograph kind of deal. Since they don't have inners anymore, I'm not sure if they give you two or just stick to the one. But I guess we'll find out. What have, what have you guys seen? I remember before they would have two inners of eight boxes. Each inner had an RPA or a patch autograph. I don't know about now though. From my clear eyes. Well, speaking of patch autographs, there's one. One with one. One case with two, yeah. Well, I feel like there's still a lot better to be pulled, so we'll see how ours case goes. Yeah, well, I remember the RPA patch autographs. Yeah, they always do look pretty nice. You like that, huh, David? Oh, yeah, man. Thank you. 
All right, let's actually start with our right side. We'll leave the patch autograph for the last one. I'll grab from this stack that I just opened up. And we got a Calgary Flame Future watch to $9.99. Nick Des Simone. Uh, Calgary. Stephen Kendrick. There's Arthur Kalia for my Kings. There's a Trey Fix Wolanski. It's a 399. This is the stack right here. So let me put the stack up here and we'll grab it from there so you guys can see it on camera. And we got a Dylan Gunther for the Coyotes to 199. Yeah, he's pretty good, man. He's playing on the uh, he's playing on the um, on the line with uh, Fiala and uh, Pierre Luc Dubois. He's pretty good. He has a really really fast wrist shot. But like I said, I just I think with the Kings is just they're so loaded on the first three lines that like obviously it's not like he's not playing on he's not he's not playing on a bottom line, but <clears throat> you have Campe that's gonna score like forty goals. Pierre Dubois has the possibility to score thirty plus goals. Fiala can score goals. You know, Kopitz are still not slowing down. Uh, you know, it's just too much power. But he gets his chances. Ronnie Attar. For the Flyers. Going to Will. Prime time. Poso, Kucherov. Kent Johnson to 199. And Oscar Olison for the Abs to 9.99. Avalanche going to James. And we got a Anton Lundell sign of the times for the Florida Panthers. Panthers, Stephen Kendrick having a break. All right, next box. And Matthias Maselli to 9.99. Yo, Wade, getting a lot of future watches. And Bobby Brink for the Flyers to 3.99. Nice signature, Bobby. Flyers going to prime time.
calendar. Yeah, I, I've had that happen in years past, so I wouldn't be I wouldn't doubt it. The autographs actually came out really fast in this box, so Cam Atkinson. Maybe there is a third in this one. Oh shit. Oh, sorry, that was a Matty Berniers right there, too. Wow, why can't the Kings play on the road every game? Wow, there you go. There's the third autograph. Sign of the Times, Maxime Comtois. Kings are perfect on the road. They haven't lost a road game yet. They need to start playing every 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 uh, every game on the road. For sure. Don't play at home. And nice, Jordan Spence. Prime time with my uh, Kings to six ninety nine. He's the kid that was actually born in Australia, but moved as a young kid over here to the states. Suzuki. Allison. Ron Francis. And then we got a Jonathan Bergren to 999 for the Red Wings. Detroit. Going to Steven. Harney. And we got Michael uh, A. Smont. Jets, David B. Alright, we got future icons to nine, uh, 399, Mercer and Jack Hughes. And we got Sokolov, Igor Sokolov for the Ottawa Senators. And a Chris Parent.
And there's another one of those uh, Neil. I think we hit him earlier, right? He had the inscription one, I think. Steel. It's another one there for the Jets. And David B. All right, last one here, and then we'll go to the next six. And this one did have the patch autograph, it looks like. So good luck. We got Nick Perbix. Future watch to 9.99. On the board, Steve Locke with a lightning. Good news. Maselli. Shane Wright. To future watch, and it's Samuel Pollen to 100. Nice two color patch, beautiful patch in there, though. Actually, for the Pittsburgh Penguins, going to Wade Preston. Six more boxes. Here we go. So there's the boxes right there. Thank you. 
This one has a die cut. Guys, here we go. And we got a future watch for the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, Kaden Kordzak to six ninety nine Vegas. That's David B. Holloway for the Oilers. A nice Elvis Mers Lincolns. Limited autograph. Blue Jackets, Chris. And we got Sign of the Times, Alec, or sorry, Alex Nadeljevic. I remember he used to be a Panther, but I guess now he's on the Reds. Red Wings? Red Wings going to Steven Carney. Nice. 
it's just one card hiding right there. Alright, next box here. And we got Chase Pearson for the Red Wings. Another one there for Steven. It's a six ninety nine. Whoa, we got a Matt Boldy hollow foils. Nice the little uh, Minnesota uh, North Stars, like retro colors. That's kind of cool. Is that a short print case hit, maybe? Uh, Minnesota Wild James with that one. Jack Hughes. And we got a Caden. It's a 99 future watch numbered. We got Ratty. I know, see, I bet you like that. You like that! Oh, Sign of the Times. This could be one of those nicknames or just a normal short print one. Casperi Kapanen. Sign of the Times. And I think it is like a nickname, right? You put in Capo. To 49. Alright, one second guys, I gotta open this door. Is that a case hit, Steve? Damn. Have any of those sold already? What's up, Mike? All right. Future watch for the Ottawa Senators, Mark Kastelik. Let's see, he's a backup now for Pittsburgh. Jordan Spence, FX Jordan Spence. I feel like since it just came out yesterday, it's going to take a little bit, right? Peralt. Maybe you'll get him on the down low. A little bit on the cheaper side since you said he's been injured, so. Might help you out a little bit. Woo! Sign of the time rookies. I know we wanted obviously Berniers, but Shane Wright. And he also has a debut right there at a 25. Yeah, I believe that was the other rookie in that class. That's him. 
how how is the Kraken doing this year? I actually haven't seen how they're doing. Kordzak for the Vegas Golden Knights. Going to David B as well. Top of that right now to get out of the stack. Brandon Schneider. Ovi. Ooh, shit, this is awesome. Wow. Jonathan Quick, Future Watch. Little uh, retro Future Watch. Interesting. Primetime, I don't know if you're a hockey guy, but I might be interested in buying this off of you. A little acetate. That's pretty sick. Quick was off to a great start with the Rangers. I think it was like 2-0 the last time I seen. Had a shutout. Happy for the guy. Got to go back home. Play for his uh, his favorite team growing up. That might have been the die cut that I thought it was. Ooh, Debrinkat. Wow, these are autographed too. Awesome. Auto Senators. Auto's, Auto's having a killer break, Chris. With that one. We'll see with that McDavid, because it's McDavid. All right, two more boxes, guys. We got Dylan Sandberg. Yeah, it does seem like that. Hollow Foils, Mitch Marner. So that's a second one there that we've seen. There's a Boldy Kaprizov collaborations. I guess we can sleep that one up. Right, chill. FX Spectrum. Jordan Spence, and then Future Icons, Brink and Connect Me. Also, too, guys, since I know David's watching, Steve, other people that might want to do some more hockey. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, we we had a second case to sell as a sealed case, but somebody opened it by accident. So, like I said, we still have the boxes and everything like that, but. Would you guys still want to do it as a full case break the same way or maybe want to switch it up to like a half case break two random teams or or Nick was proposing maybe a four box like two random teams each which keep it a little cheap but uh, yeah if you guys want to let me know what you guys want but if you guys want a full case again we can try it again I, I don't I don't mind any any way but just more for so that way you guys can sell another full case out want to do a full case okay we can do it that way just know though, it's, it's gonna be opened, but, you know. See, so, yeah, I'll repost it again right now during my lunch break and uh, I guess you can start pre-ordering that. I'll post it without fillers for now, or at least I'll post it with one filler only. Maybe people want to buy straight up, but if not, like I said, I'll, I'll repost the second filler after that. Good luck, guys. Last box. Hunter Drew to $9.99. Pavel, Regenda. There's a Matty Berniers, Stamkos. Schneider, 1099, the Rangers. Kreisov, Shane Wright. I should have one more auto hiding in here. And why Johnson? Johnston to three ninety nine. Dallas, Chris Montalvo. 
All right. All right, so there you go, guys. Some really nice stuff popping out of here. I'm assuming every case is different, guys. So obviously, you know, but some really nice ones there. That Shane Ride was awesome. That Boldy. We did get that patch autograph there. But uh, I need to study up just a little bit more. I, since they felt so behind, guys, I haven't really paid attention. I just really worry about my Kings, but I know there's always great players and great gems hiding in these future watches, so. All in all, some really, really fun stuff as always. So I did put you guys in a promo break already. Now the next one I post up won't be a promo break, but uh, obviously I'm sure the hockey fans will still love to get in on it. And a couple more over here. And then we'll sleep and top load most likely all of these here as well. Appreciate you guys, jazbeescasebreaks.com.